Hi everyone. Uh, a few weeks ago, I went into Barnsley. Um, I don't know if you've seen it, but I uploaded the Kez statue video. That was the same day. And um, I wanted to, well, what I did, I went in to um, have a look around Barnsley and I wanted to visit the Cooper Gallery as well. Um, I went in, you'll see the footage. Um, but the Cooper Gallery was founded by a fella called Samuel Cooper. Um, his father was a rich man and I think he's labelled as a philanthropist. That there, by the way, is the grave of an ex mayor of Barnsley. Anyhow, um, Samuel's buried in this churchyard in Wordsborough and um, this graveyard is phenomenal. So, you know, like in, if you're from Oldham, uh, as most of the people that follow my channel are, you'll know we've got some really good cemeteries there like Chatterton, um, Green Acres, uh, etc. Um, but in Barnsley, they tend to not, they've got a cemetery, but like the, you know, the people who sort of had plenty of money, they tend to be buried in churchyards like this. And this here is the family grave, collective grave of Samuel Cooper, the founder of Cooper Art Gallery in Barnsley. So keep watching, you'll be able to see the inside of it, it's fabulous. Um, but there he is, Samuel Joshua Cooper, that is the man. He was born in 18, I can't see that, 1830. And the poor saw died July the 11th. He didn't see the gallery open, unfortunately. Um, I think his wife died after him. And there's various other family members. Fanny Cooper, the beloved wife of Samuel Joshua Cooper. But and you've got Maria Cooper. That must be uh, that must be a sister or something. But this grave and the other graves in this churchyard, um, they're all being overtook by this ivy. Can you see it on this tree? And uh, you know what I'm like, I love graves. And uh, I just think we need to get rid of this ivy and save this stone here. I've shown it in a previous video. It's actually taken from the um, opening of a mine shaft. Anyway, let's get to Barnsley. I'll show you the footage now. So that's uh, Samuel's grave. Let's have a look at what he left behind and a few other bits and pieces around Barnsley Town Centre. Everybody, we are going to look at Barnsley in a second, but I just carried on looking around the graveyard. There's loads of graves all covered, look. But I just wanted to take a minute to show you this poor chap. His name was JC Cook and he was a pilot officer of the Royal Air Force, tied on the 10th of December 1941, 21 years old. And this must be the family plot because we've also got a dear father and mother, Arthur Cook of Darley Cliff, born the 8th of November 1872, died 27th of July 51. There are graves, the land's claiming the graves. What's happening to get them back? Look at this graveyard. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of JC Cook, I'll put it in for you. Uh, okay, without any further ado, let's get to Barnsley. Morning everybody, I've decided I'm going to take a walk into Barnsley and we're going to be looking at a few things on the way but I wanted to show you these beautiful houses, look at them, I wonder who lived in these houses, right I'm on, I'm on uh, Upper Sheffield Road, look at that house there and this is my favourite, this is absolutely beautiful, this, this what this brown one, can you see it? The brown fronted one. Uh, obviously it's been painted. It's called Beach, Beach Rock. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And look, 
it's actually been turned into flats individual flats number two two three one of the things i want to do is find out who lived in these houses you know years ago they would have had money and there's another one down here i drive past it all the time just over there um it's a bit unusual because it looks like it's had houses built onto it <laughs> they're all different mismashes um but yeah I'm, I'm definitely and look at this one here this one's called albert cottage but i'm definitely going to find out who lived in these houses and what they did because there's loads of history on here that's not been told anyway we're going to walk into barnsley we're going to go to the cooper gallery uh cooper i think he was called samuel cooper there it is look belgrave house look at that uh yeah samuel cooper he was um we call him a like phil that's called the hans they called him a philanthropist now he wasn't a self-made fella he, his father was actually really really wealthy um and when he obviously you know he went into family business and what have you but he uh he basically funded this cooper gallery which is look at that look at the door oh, can, can we see the we can't see the door um yeah he funded this cooper gallery and um i wanted to go and see it for a while so we're going to go today the other thing i want to do as well is i want to go to the library uh, and this pub fascinates me it's called the victoria so i'd suggest it's uh i don't I, mean, I don't know how old it is but it, they've done all sorts to it over the years including painting it that quite garish color but i suspect underneath it's absolutely stunning um but yeah, anyway, as you can see, it's a very, very gloomy day in Barnsley today. And the reason why I've decided to walk in, not only do I want to get some exercise, but um, you just can't park anywhere. It's a nightmare. So I thought, forget, I'll walk. Anyway, we'll get to uh, get into town and I'll come back when there's something interesting to show you. Right, everyone, we're outside the Cooper Gallery. Oh my word. Right, look at this. Look at that. Never knew that were there. So let's do. Let's go and have a look inside if we can. Looks like it's open. Look at all these old graves as well. Brilliant. Wonder if I'll be allowed in. Oh. No. There's a service going on. Oh, look at it. It's got loads of history in the windows. I want to go in. Goodness gracious, look at this. Here also lieth interred the body of Elizabeth, daughter of the above. The above is the son of Joe and Anne. Put in this grave, 1718. Oh, the, the surname is Halifax. It says, oh, age one day. Um, of my, uh, in memory of Off Morgen, late of Twin House. And virtue few of these have attained his art and industry were such and his ingenious inventions will be lasting monument of his
this is wonderful I think that might be a, a, a wedding or a funeral that's going on in there you know there's something going on anyway look at this wow how do you do that The call to breakfast, S. Fornery. Oh, my hand's killing me. Right, let's have a look at these. This is called Café de Gelato Constantinople by T.H. Freire and it says it was a French artist. According to Cooper's own notes, the painting was awarded a first class medal at the exposition de Bior Art Palais. This was very similar to the great exhibition that took place in London in 1851. Most of his work can be seen in the Metropolitan Art in the Art Museum of Metropolitan Art in New York. Wow. Look at this. Look. You know what, I mean, it's a beautiful painting, but I can't take my eyes off that with frame. That is absolutely gorgeous. Greenwich Park. George Knott started his work, life as a gardener, and taught himself to paint his passion for landscape. Painting perhaps developed from his gardening interest. Hmm. Uh, James Fox seems to have liked Mort's paintings. I think this one was painted in 1857. London, Greenwich. Look, I think that's St Paul's over there. You see? Definitely St Paul's. This portrait is of a lady called Margaret Maggot. 1759 to 1848. And is often seen as a companion piece to the portrait of what Water Joe nearby. Well, that's him. We'll go and look at him in a minute. Like Joe, Peggy was a well-known local character. She would find and collect items that could be sold for small change. For a fee, she would tell you fortune. And at Christmas and New Year, she would make visits to houses as a talisman for good luck for the year ahead. This must be jaw. What a jaw. This portrait is of a man called Joseph Broadhead, 18, 1772 to 1852. He made his living selling water. Oh, water. Water, yeah. Uh, when he started in 1816, Barnsley, like many other towns and cities, did not have direct water supply. So what a jaw would collect the water from the natural spring with an assistance of his horse, Old Duke. He would bring bring it to the people of Barnsley in exchange for payment. Joe was well known for his quick wit and love of drink. The important local artist, Abel Hold, successfully managed to capture the aspect of his personality in this picture. <clears throat> At one time, the portraits were owned by Mr. H. Jackson of Darfield Rectory, where, before being bought by James Fox, who hung them in the bar at the Queen's Hotel, Regent Street. Hold was a well-respected artist, both locally and nationally. Fox was occasionally criticised for hanging these paintings in a place some considered to be an appropriate setting for work such as an artist. What a jaw. James and Jane Fox. Do 
Jane and James Fox worked hard to build their business interests to take their place in Barnsley society. James Fox passed away in 1885, but Jane lived till 1932. Following her death, their son Thomas and sisters arranged for paintings to be gifted to Cooper Gallery as the gallery's collection paintings had grown. Look at this. that big. <laughs> Can't get my camera to work. Hurricane. 1860. <laughs> Have you seen him? Running dead fast with them legs. <laughs> Just been in the Cooper. Should we go and look at the fountain? It's going. Do -do 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 -do. Ooh, look at this. Let's go and look at the fountain. Someone said something was going on here. I can't think what what they said. That might be it, actually. Might have said it'd be seen in the nativity.